You're now tuning to the Paul Kennebrew Podcast. It's going to be a good day today, man. You know, I got my special guest made it here safe. You know, we're going to touch on a lot of issues, you know, current events. We're going to get into his, his career, his life experiences, how it is living in Atlanta. <laughs> you dig? Brother Jamil. What it do? Man. Tell the people a little bit about yourself. All right, all right. Well, I don't even know where to start, you know what I mean? I'm I'm not from Atlanta, but grew up here since I was been five, you know, moved straight from Louisiana, so I'm a straight southern boy, you feel right, me? Right, right. Uh, been trying to go about things, I guess you would say, the right way here lately, you know what I mean? So I've been okay. stepping myself up out of the streets a little bit, but I was in them guys heavy early, right. you know what I mean? Right. So. You know, had a, got a 17-year-old and a five-month-old baby, so I'm trying to, you know, switch things up a little bit, get a little bit more focus, you feel me? Beautiful. So, Congratulations. Yeah, man. You feel a child's birth can stop brothers from gangbanging? It should. Right. You know, it, it should. I think a lot of people are so lost to where their, their priorities are just that messed up, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, to where... Yeah, you see that you see that baby looking at you, and you're supposed to be the provider, and you're still going out doing stupid stuff. It don't make no sense to right. me. It just doesn't add up. Right, know? right, right. Um, we try to use a lot of justifications for it. Yeah. You see, like my step, I didn't. My biological dad wasn't there. He right. was in and out, but my my stepdad was like Superman. Right. So, a lot of brothers they use the justification. Oh, I ain't have no dad. Period. So that try that that should make you want to. Be there for your kids. Yeah, absolutely. You know, mm-hmm. shout out to my sister Deborah. If she didn't teach me anything, she taught me this. She said, "You don't have to be with the woman to be a father to your children." Right. And I thought that was profound, and I always will live with that. Right. And I hope that I have a wife, or you know, I really don't want a child's mother. That's why you know I never got married and things like that. You mm-hmm. know, I, I believe in the marriage thing and at least trying. Right. You know if. If you got a baby mother, you ain't going to fight for no baby mother, but you'll fight for your marriage. Right. You know. Absolutely. So, right. Uh-huh. Shout out to the sisters in the land. I'm talking to y'all, you know. So, I'll, I'll put forth the effort. You have to meet me halfway. My thing is, it's, it's super important to be around your kids, you know. Mm-hmm. Even uh, what I think it was Barack Obama said, your, your, your son or your child is five times more likely to drop out of high school, end up in jail, yada, 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 yada in a single-parent home. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it, it, the, the math and the numbers are there. I mean, the system got a lot to play with it, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it's a lot of mental Willie Lynching, mm-hmm. systematic racism, oppression. It's a lot of divide in the government, right? There is. So it's bittersweet, right? There is. So I appreciate, because I grew up on public assistance, on welfare, right. on Section 8, you know, all the way hood. With the with the colored uh, food stamps, it's right? Actual, I remember, the, the, my guy. The book, the book. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Right, I come from that era. Yeah. I, not the EBT card yet. Yeah. So some sisters don't really need the black man because the government will assist them. Yeah. You see, so they got that crutch, which is as beautiful as there, because I would I don't want to see my sisters on the street, right? You know, right. And my sisters are eating very well; they looking beautiful, right? You know, to our detriment, though, right? You know, so that's enabling us in a sense too. Yeah, yeah, heavy. Man, I saw stats on that. You know, uh-huh. before. Before the whole, uh, I think it was the Civil Rights Movement where they implemented all that Section 8 and all that, you know what I mean, mm. all that help for lower income families. The single parent household rate in black families was like 20%. Wow. You know what I mean? Now it's 80. Wow. You know, and you hear nowadays where women tell you straight up, I don't, I don't need no man. You I get that. I get that thing. a lot. Dating. The women in Atlanta. Absolutely. I'm independent. I don't need a man for nothing. Absolutely. You know? You know. But I'm I'm not gonna give up. Yeah. It frustrates me, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm not gonna give up. Yeah. You know, whoever she is, 
you know, I think in due time, you right. know, it's going to happen. Right, right, You know what right. I'm saying? I'm, I'm open for it. Right. You see? For a long time, I was like, I don't have no love to give no more, you know? But, you Bro, know, I'm I'm having another change of heart. I found mine when I stopped searching, homie. Uh, congratulations. Talk. I'm happy appreciate for you. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it, man. I was... We work together too, bro. And I can't even lie. I'm dating all these chicks that we work with. I'm going trying to meet chicks at the bar and all that. Man, I got frustrated. I said, yeah. I'm, I'm not doing this no more. You know, yeah, what I yeah. mean? let me focus on me real fast, get my stuff together, and you know, work it out. At, besides that, and there you go. What she come walking in the door? I'm like, hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, let yeah. me see what this is about, cause the shorty's on us. So you know, you know, for some men. Mm-hmm. Right, I, I feel some men you gotta fulfill your sexual appetite before you want to settle down, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you see? Absolutely. <laughs> you dig? And um, and if you don't, you're gonna get married. In certain cases, you're gonna get married, and then still have that urge. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. I think some of that is taught though. You think so? I, a little bit. I think that's nature. In some ways. You know what I mean? But I remember having a legit thought in my head when I was around 15, 16, looking around at all the dudes that was around and the way they was living. Mm-hmm. They out smashing, man. You know what I mean? They doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It looked fun. Right. So, you know, I started to do it. Right. Not really realizing all the problems that come with it. Right. You know, so it's like a lot of folk, a lot of stuff in this world where it looks good and shiny till you hop on it and then you realize, oh, that's just sharp. You Ooh, know what I mean? So okay. It's, 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 it's different. You mm-hmm. know, it's, it's different. Don't get me wrong. I know. I Trust me. I understand. We got an appetite. I had a crazy one. You know what I mean? But. I think all men do. Right. Yeah, period. But at some point, you get burnt out. Yeah. 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 If. Yeah. If I hit the club with Julius, right, every Friday, because we be running around networking, mm-hmm. looking for artists, mm-hmm. looking for entertainers, yeah, yeah, yeah. looking for spoken word. We, 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 you know, he yeah. do it more than I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He really be on the road. So, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, fi- 52 weeks doing this? Yeah. You see? It's burnout. Burnt, I feel it. Burnt out. My thing is, all right, it's it's very shallow. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's almost like you ever been in a contest or something you worked super hard for, won it, and then 15 minutes later looking like, uh, what now? Right. It's kind of like the same thing. Right. You know what I mean? You're going out smashing chicks every day. Yeah. Every day. Then you wake up, you leave, and you're like, I guess I got to do that again. Uh, you know what I mean? And then it's just like, oh, do I really want to go through all that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over and over and over? Yeah. Nah, I think I'm good. But see, you, that's why I, I, I had to uh, piggyback of what you said earlier. It's going to get to a point where you're going to be, like you said, burned out. Yeah. But it, you got to understand, if you're real spiritual or you your mind is at a different level, Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to end up thinking to yourself like, like you just said, what next? Uh-huh. It's like now you're looking at this person like we have nothing in common. Period. Yeah. And like that's that's why I was about to say. Um, like people didn't understand what I kept saying. If I can't, like I as I when I was young, it was fun doing it, even if I didn't care or like them that much. Right, right, right. But I got older one day. I was with a chick, bad, and I was thinking to myself like, she's cool as fuck. I'm hoping I could be with this chick. But right. She's, the more we had conversation was nothing in common. I'm Dead. like, this right? Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the saddest thing. <laughs> you gotta get in their head before you get in the bed. Period. Yeah. Period. You see, mastering the brain, you can master the woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see. Yeah. That's what. That's how that I think they'll submit. That's a way better challenge too. Right. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. And there's somebody that really likes competition. That's the challenge you're going for. Right. You know what I mean. So. How I'm living now. A hundred women ain't a hundred thousand. No. <laughs> Give me the bag. Give me the bag. Give me period. the bag. You see, like, yo, it feel good to get your ego stroke pause, you know, the notoriety and the validation. Yo, pause. he that pause. You dig? Um, yo, he that dude. Yeah. The chicks he with bad. Yeah. You know, 
Shout out to all the beautiful women in Atlanta. Everybody got a fat ass out here. Yo, I grew up around this. Grandma, <laughs> grandma out here with the <laughs> grandma out here with the wagon. Bro, I moved to another state. I came back. You like so, uh, <laughs> right? Trust me. <laughs> You like this is a good job, but fuck y'all. y'all I'm women. out. <laughs> <laughs> but that yeah, was, that was before I met my missus. You know, let's See, put that out there. Shout out to the first lady. I mean, that's, no disrespect. That's, right. That's, that's another thing too. You gotta find that right person too, man. Yeah, man. Because if you don't, you are gonna be like, wait, like he said, you are gonna get married and then you gonna have that urge again. Mm-hmm. But I, I think when I mean, you say it has been taught, I don't think it's been taught. I have to disagree with you. Yeah, I'm kind of on his side. I think it's something that. Men have naturally, but if we, I think, and, and people don't understand, if you could find, every time a man likes someone, mm-hmm. and I, and I'd hate to bring up religions, but in like multiple religions, the man chooses the woman, right? Yeah. So if that man see that lady the first time, like, I think he could be like ninth grade. If he see her, he could be with her forever because he found that first one he really want. Right, right, right. But if he can't get that first one he really want, and then he's searching for that same thing over and over and over until he find that next one, and yeah. then he could say, okay, I settle down, and then goes up from there. Now, that's a great point. I, yeah, I feel so, you. Know, right. That's you know how I, mean? I always saw that, and that, that's why when people used to ask me, like, why you don't be doing nothing with these chicks when you meet them? I just want to see if I can get their number. I if I take them home, I just want to see if I can see her pussy. If I can right. see her pussy, I know I can fuck. I don't right. need a fucker. <laughs> and now it's a different time, so yeah. where we can't pick like that. Yeah, right. so you know what I'm saying. I feel you. I gotta, I gotta agree to disagree with you. I feel the woman chooses the man. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Now. So. Because they can get dick from anywhere. Yeah. That's true. That's true. You see, so. To be honest with you, we out searching for anything we can get. Right. You know what I mean? They step outside. Oh, they Gucci. What's that girl name? Uh, Amber Rose. And yeah. She said woman can get, what, what is it? They could walk outside butt-ass naked. Period. And, and it'd be a car crash. Yeah. Right right now. You see, <laughs> if I go outside butt-naked, they locking me up. Period. You're right. Oh, this He's off his rocker. <laughs> Straight jacket him. Yeah, man. But, yeah. But I think, I think, I think. I, I I understand why you disagree with me, but I think uh no I agree. Oh, I was just adding on. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Just like change the perspective. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Turn the knob a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say you was wrong. You was right, my brother. Oh, I didn't say you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm right? saying? Yeah. I I just said look at it from this perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Where where I'm looking at, I think both of y'all are right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What he said is more in an older time. Right. Now, now that's not how it is. You know what I mean? Women out here picking who they right. want to be with. So I'm going to add on to what you just said, right? So I was coming to the show one day, and a chick tried to bag me. Yeah. You see? So <laughs> it's some women that, that they are the aggressor. You in Atlanta. Right. <laughs> they got to be. <laughs> and I wasn't used to it. And I was like, you a dude? You a woman? I didn't know what it was. You yeah. see, so I was I didn't want to offend her yeah. or it or him or I don't know. You took the number down or something. I didn't do nothing. I kept it moving. I was confused and I didn't want to say something in pure ignorance. <laughs> right. And whoever you was, shout out to you. Thank you for the compliment. But I didn't know how to handle it. Right. You hey. see, I'm just getting my little walk on, <laughs> trying to get some exercise in. And you skirt, skirt, right. come here. Like it's almost too good to be true, right? right? I was like, whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell y'all. I ain't got that much following yet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not an attractive dude, but when that happened, most of the women were like, damn. Like, really? You talking to me? So when I first came to Atlanta, I'm standing at the bus stop. And this chick said, hey, you want to ride? It was like a group of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I thought she was talking to this chick. So the chick was like, who, me? And I was like, she was like, no, that guy right there wearing white. It's three people wearing white. Yeah. Right. And she was like, that guy right there wearing a white. And okay. <laughs> I'm looking at my jacket. And I know that other dude was wearing white because he walked behind me. Word. So he wearing white and red. She's mm. like, no, the plain white, black pants. Okay, I know I'm wearing the black pants, but she ain't talking to me. One with the book bag. Oh, okay, I was in school, so I'm like, the book? Okay, she talked to me. I said, yeah, I want to ride. I said, wait, why you giving me a ride for? Yeah. Just ride with me. I said, right. she was like, you got a, you got a girlfriend? You got a... And she was just spitting game. Like, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? She picked me up. Yeah. Then the second time that ever happened when I was in Philly, and I was talking to this chick because I want to know where the closest mall was at. But she was bad, too. I was trying to holler at her, but she got to say stuff. She was talking to me before I got to talk to her. So right. she, this is Philly. So I'm thinking to myself, like, she gonna set me up. Right. I don't know if I want to go. So she said the mall just like one stop up. You know, we caught the train to the mall. 
I said, God damn. Then she was like, we went, the first place we passed in the mall, her friend was working at some little shoe store. I want to say it was, uh, it was like a kid's shoe store, but it had a, uh, what they had them, uh, I can't even think, it had them. Buster Brown shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot the name of the shoe store. Like Sperry's or something like Boy, that. Boy, he going back in the day. <laughs> yeah. But, Buster yeah. Brown? Buster Brown. Ooh, <laughs> you know, they started selling. You, you remember early 2000s, they started selling them again. But this was, yeah. this was like 2006 or seven. But anyway, I'm in Philly. We went to the store. Her friend was right there. She's like, who that nigga is with you? Blah, blah, blah. You know something. She started talking all this other crazy shit. And I'm sitting there. She's like, all right. Uh, she said, you say you got a hotel room. Can I come up? I was, like, I was sharing the room with my cousin. Like, it was me right. and two other cousins. And I'm sitting there like, uh, yes. I, I was trying to say no, but I'm like, yeah, I didn't want to look like a punk. Man, I had a great time that day, bro. But I didn't even do nothing. I didn't smash, but I'm glad my cousins left at that point. It was right. just me in the room. I was like, yeah. Right. She said she was going to come back, but she never came back. I was mad. It's weird. I've, I've been noticing lately. You know, I'm, shoot, how old am I now? 37? Right. Yeah, I'm 37 now, right? Mm-hmm. So it seems like. After I passed like 33 or so, all these young hoes just started falling at a nigga. Like, mm. not to say it like that. I'm, what do I think? You know, mm. you know, I'm not, I'm not Sylvester Stallone or no. I'm not The Rock. You mm. know, if I'm looking like, um, and I'm noticing most of them are like 18 to 22, mm-hmm. and I started noticing, oh, these chicks just like older dudes. That's what's going on. You know what I mean? And they know we not finna stop and holler at them most of the time. I don't feel right. It's weird. I feel. I need 25 and better. I feel you. I need stretch marks. <laughs> I need c sec. I need you to been through some war. I need bullet holes. Go I, through some. Right. I need you to been through some goddamn trauma, goddamn it. Period. <laughs> Listen, you ain't about to swallow 39 Advils because I don't want to deal with you no more. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing wrong with I get a 22-year-old wife. It's nothing wrong with that. Right. But 18, I feel like I'm taking advantage. Real talk, you kind of are. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, bro. I got, I got something to say because, um, not because I ever tried, because if they, this is what I was told by official My pimp. niece, 18. Official pimp told me this. If they young and you chasing them, you whack. You period. He said, if they coming at you, know, know what you want to do before you even try to pursue them. Right. So I never chase young girls. Right. But if they throwing it at me multiple times, I might. Give in. I've dodged. The, I've matrix neoed on a couple of them. Myself. So, you know what I'm saying? Right. Most of the time, I'm going to say no, but like I said, that pimp told me if you older than a certain age and they like 18 or 22, 23, bro, if they ain't talking to you, leave them alone. Period. But if you if they, they throwing it at you, they trying to be your friend or whatever, even if they think you're a fine granddaddy, <laughs> give it a try and see what happens. Right. That's so, it, it's like... You gonna play sugar daddy? It's, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's weird. You see what I'm saying? Because, you gonna play sugar daddy? Because I've had one trying to play me like that. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you, you got $20, you know? All right. of a sudden, you know, like. Yeah, that's that new game they do. Yeah. I don't like right. that shit. When I'm gonna get my $20 back. Oh, you asking for your money back? Mm-hmm. Like, come <laughs> on now. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> you know what this is. Right. Just chill yeah, out, it's but funny, it's what it is. The other thing I got a problem with, you see, not saying I ain't never did it. But I done retired, and y'all need to understand this, right? <laughs> so to pay for play, I ain't with it. So yeah. I'll catch you when you retire. When you done with the game and you put up your whole go boots, you know, yeah. and you giving it up for free. Yeah. Or let me know when you giving up 30-day subscriptions. I don't even want to talk about my pay for play days. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, why don't I just, you know, get in a relationship with you and pay a bill, goddammit? That's it. Yeah, I Straight feel better. What, how much is the light bill, goddammit? That's it. I'm good. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? How much is your car insurance? Well, how much your car note? <laughs> Damn. What's your, how much your phone bill? Shit, I feel better. You know, at least you'll yeah. call me. Shit. Yeah, man. That's true. That's how, true. How long you been doing music? Sure, since I was, I played the saxophone in, sure, middle school, but rapping and everything since I was 16, so about 21 years now. You still play the sax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Yeah, man. Dope. You play any other instruments? I'm trying, bro. 
I'm trying. I'm on the piano right now. Never okay. could get the drums. I'm not that coordinated. Right. You know what I mean? But <laughs> 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 and then the guitar is my next one after that. You know so, I, mean? I wish you the best. Yeah, so, you're a master at the sax, though. Huh? You're a master at the sax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's a master. That, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, man. We in there. Right. Yes, sir. I, I remember my mom tried to get us to play an instrument, but she didn't want me to play what I wanted. I said, let me lend her guitar first. Then I can take the journey to anywhere else. Yeah. She's like, you can play the violin. I'm like, nope. All right, let me learn the piano. The violin. I'm like, you know, I don't want to <laughs> learn nothing now. But the violin is a guitar, basically, just with a. If you would have learned violin, you would have learned guitar. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I, that's the only thing I regret, like, not learning to play one instrument. Yeah. I think everybody need to play at least one instrument. Right. Uh, and play a sport. If you don't join the military, you got to play a sport. Yeah. I don't know why. I. I it's a, it's a connection between uh, learning music, playing an instrument, and actually math and science or whatever. Yeah. And you know, you the the way that you go about it, you know, it, it's 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 decent. I love it. You know, what got you into music? Uh, Kenny G. I can't even flex. <laughs> okay. I can't even okay. flex. You know what My I mean? My dad was a Kenny. He was stupid on that sax. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I I love me some Kenny G back in the days, and you know. Hey, what's that favorite song ever like? Man, I wish I knew the name, but we can sit here and hum the whole thing. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to play the exact one he had, but we couldn't do that in school band, so I had to get me an alto sax and yada yada. Dope, dope. But yeah, I grew up listening to R&B and everything, so I wanted to get on that stage. Mm -hmm. But you know, R&B all of a sudden wasn't hip no more, so I'm like, let me see if I can make me some beats and rap. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, that was, that was that was the way we took that. What inspires you to make music? What inspires now? Mm -hmm. Shoot, it could be anything, bro. It could be the random thing. Okay, like, you know, um, me and my homeboy, we actually did a challenge one day. We had our homeboy send us a, a, just a dumb, stupid picture. He sent us a picture of his his daughter holding two cups, mm -hmm. and we made a song off of that. You know what I mean? Okay. It, it To me, it's, it feels like whenever we're really going through something, that's when we make our best music. You right. You know what I mean? From pain and agony. Bro, I feel like hitting the mic right now because last year has been rough. For, <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You feel me? Bro? I don't, like, I'll be cordial, you know, but I really don't want to get close to people. Yeah. Because it's like, who going to die next? Bro. Oh. People really be thinking I have a problem, so I put that wall up. No, it, it's it's real. Because it's like I don't. My love is unconditional, and my hate is unconditional. Real talk. You see, real if talk. I rock with you, I rock with you. If I don't rock with you, you're done. You're done. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't wash my hands with you. It's nothing I could do with you. Yeah. I wish you all the best of luck. Right. You see. Right. Because if I dropped dead tomorrow, you wouldn't care. Right. You know, I wouldn't either. I feel you. You, you dig? Know what I mean, I feel you. Everybody got their own problems. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody so. dealing with their own demons. Yeah, man. But that, that does the best to me. Like, shoot. I think me and my partner did our best album. We had lost two homeboys. We moved up to Charlotte, staying up there for a year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We doing our thing on the block or whatever. It always gets complicated. Right. You know what I mean? So we... We was almost like a Wu Tang clan over here. Our group name was Dust to Dawn. It was seven of us. Right. Know, you know what I mean? So we kind of split up from that f from, for personal reasons. Yeah. Me and my homeboy, we started doing our own thing, mm -hmm. hustling or whatever. Mm -hmm. the, our plug, I guess he fell on hard times. He went back and tried to rob our old group mate in one night, lost five homeboys. Damn. Three, of, three of them locked up, two of them dead. Damn. You know what I mean? In one night. And that's when we started making music, and it got amazing. You know what I mean? That is a movie. Uh, yeah. It it literally is. It literally is. You know what I mean? And then, and then we the the pressure from because we in North Charlotte. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody know everybody up there. Right. So now everybody looking at us because the dude that one of especially one of the dudes that died, bro. I I thought it was the rapture. He was one of the best dudes I ever met in my life. You right. know what I mean? So I'm I'm really starting to feel like God taking people early. Mm -hmm. But everybody that he knew started coming at us, and these ain't even this ain't even a gang situation. Right. You know what I mean? This is just regular people. But we having people looking at us crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yo, y'all did y'all yeah, did like this. I had something to do with it. And we was at work that night, bro. 
You know what I mean? Right. So I, we had to, we skated, came back here, whatever. And now, last year, we got my best friend, my you know, my partner. Mm-hmm. You know, he lost both of his parents, shoot, a month. Like last month, basically. Right. You know what I mean? My father died December. My daughter almost died being born on Halloween. My baby mom, it's been rough. Right. That's what I'm saying. We need to get on the mic. Right. <laughs> you feel me? But it is what it is. You How know? would you describe your music? And my condolences for your loss and your homie's loss. Yeah, man, appreciate it. My music, I like. Everybody always listen, especially to the beats, and say their scores. Me and my homeboy, we're we're sitting here trying to figure out like a, a easier way to pop, but we don't want to dumb it down too much. You know yeah. what I mean? So mm. my I know mine is very cerebral and and almost spiritual. You know what I mean? Not okay. we're not like I'm sitting there using crazy big words or whatever, but I'm really trying to get you to think. You know what I mean? Right. Think about what we consciousness. Doing now. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I'm I'm really not trying to get on the violence and stuff like that don't get me wrong we have our turned up songs and stuff like that mm-hmm. but the traditional rap i'm not trying to get on that right. you feel me I, I i i would like to be more on the level of like a j cole or kendrick or something like that you okay know what i mean yeah. other than you know young thug and them right <laughs> so. and shout out to them that's you what, what I mean? it's, it's commercials that's what's winning well, you're right you, have, you listen to uh young thug latest one no i haven't he tr- hey, he don't want to. I think he don't want to sound. He's trying to be like a J. Cole and Kendra. I think he realized longevity is more of the key. You know, I think the industry is gonna go back to that. And yeah. and like like you saying, nothing against the dudes that aren't like that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's your art. Art is art, and people are gonna like right. what they like. You right. know what I mean? But I know for me, that's really not what it is. And you know, to me, rap is you're supposed to be. A master in linguistics, mm-hmm. not yeah. somebody that goes on the mic and hibbity, hibbity, hi, hibbity, hi, uh. yeah, you know that's something else, right? That's not rap. That's hype music. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Who would you like to collab with? <sighs> like the two I just said. Yeah, Andre Three Thousand, of course. If he would ever get back on the mic, right. of course. Well, you know like, what I mean? What if Drake say something? Drake, I would. Don't get me wrong, because that's automatic exposure. Yeah. But my song is going to immediately become his song. You, you notice know right. <laughs> Drake is dead center. Yeah. He's not too, like, mumble gangster or whatever. Right, right, right. right. Now, and he's not too political. Blah, blah. Right. It's like, he's dead center. You know, I had I had a, a homeboy of mine, a co-worker, who shouts out CJ. But uh, he basically gave me an argument that Drake is the best rapper out right now. And I couldn't deny it. Deny it. I he's goat that. goat. Yeah. He's goat goat. Anybody like, album he's on, it goes top ten. Period. And I'm like, I'm ch- I, I was telling my cousin this like four years back, and I kept saying, "Bro, think about it." Nobody say, "Let me go get Kendrick for a feature." Don't go get J Cole, and I say, "We." And even if they do, they take over the album, and a person like, "Damn, my whole shit wet," because these right. one verse from these two. All right, they right. keep it level. I'm gonna go get a Drake because Drake just want to party off that one song, even right. though that his album still sucks. Right. <laughs> Drake like you, made his one album sell that one song sell the whole album. Like you said, Drake is right in the middle to where he's he's not mumble, but he says some things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he still has that vibe where you can kind of be like, oh, yeah. oh, that's that's snappy right there. That's right. catchy. You feel me? Uh, that to be honest with you, that's where I'm trying to get to where stuff is is more it's more unique. But it's still a little catchy, you yeah. know what I mean? Like a lot of the hooks that we do, it, it it'll sound like a rant, but if you really pay attention, we're using different words every time, uh, you know, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I gotta hear that. Yeah, bro, it's 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 fire. Yeah. It's fire. I grew up in the golden era. Yeah. Okay, so I grew up the Rock Him, yeah. the L Cool J, yeah. the Big Pun, right? The Big L, right? The Jay Z, the Biggie, the Tupac, Absolutely. the Dr. Dre, the best. Rest in peace, DMX. Thank you for your service, sir. Boy, Man. there will never be another DMX. Man. You are one of one. He really is. Right? He really is. So, I come from that era where you had to write your own raps. Period. The cannabis era, right? Yeah. The 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 pre the pre Eminem era. Period. Right? Yeah. So, this era, right? So that era it was it was hustling. Yeah. And 
You know, and keep and you you got to be certified. That's what that's where I'm from too. I feel you. Right. Mm-hmm. So this era is snitching is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's allowed. It is <laughs> advised. <laughs> right. <laughs> cooperate, cooperate, cooperate. Yeah. Okay. And the ghostwriting is okay. Yeah. So. Because I love the production side of music, mm-hmm. and I feel it's about bringing the best product to the consumer. Yeah. So I'm okay with the ghostwriting thing. Yeah. If we a team, and I'm like, yo, and you like, yo, Pete, take that line out, put this line in. Or, yo, I got this hook for you, and it fits you. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people do that. Right. Yeah. So, and I see that in Atlanta. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. And I don't have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. You see, it's about creating the best material as possible mm-hmm. and making hit music. I feel it. Right? I feel it. But where I draw the line, <laughs> right? Objection, objection, objection. Order in the court. Order, <laughs> order, order. Kid Cuddy, <laughs> sir. Listen, your music is dope. I'm not taking nothing from your artistry. And may God bless you with all the success in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. But this dress, (laughs) my guy, my guy, what the is wrong with you, sir? You can't offer me enough money in the world. You see, I come from the hood, right? So you're not going to brainwash me and don't tell me to turn 5 into 10. Period. Right. It's that simple. If you could turn 5 into 10, you could turn 500 into 1,000, 1,000 into 2,000, a quarter million to a half a million, half a million to a million. So I don't got to put no goddamn dress on to get some goddamn money. I don't need that much exposure. Listen to me. I'm all right with my 16 followers, God damn it! If I got to put on a damn, <laughs> <laughs> if I got to put on a damn dress for 1.6 million followers, well, it ain't worth it. Right. Okay. Whatever your sexual orientation is, may peace be upon you. Right. But I don't approach me ever in your life with some. I'm not putting on no dress. Right. For no money. For no amount of money. It's deeper than rap, if you ask me, bro. I'm not doing it. It's, it's, it's deep, deep. You know what I, mean? I, knew, I was watching Saturday Night Live, and I said, uh, this is shock value. This got to be some shock value. My thing is, all right, Kid Cudi, he has an a, a amazing following with the kids. There's youngsters, teenagers that listen to Kid Cudi. Same with Lil Nas X. Mm-hmm. Why are y'all the two that are pushing demonic on one and then feminine on the other? I didn't mm. know. Was it a publicity stunt? What with Lil Nas or Kid Cudi? Kid Cudi. So the Lil Nas X thing. It's like you in a position of power. Yeah. You see, in Forty Eight Laws of Power, all exposure is good exposure. Yeah. That's what I said. You see, so you 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 can control the masses, mm-hmm. and you you can do what we doing now. You can get us to do what we doing now. Talking about you and talk yeah. about you. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm-hmm. You see, and take our focus off the focus. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and deviate to y'all bullshit. Right. Yeah. Cause that ain't real nigga shit. It's not real nigga shit. Is yo 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 yo? We got this hit record. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You <laughs> yeah. got the beat. Like that's real nigga shit. You nigga, how we gonna book this show? Period. We gonna get some money, sell some merch. Hard mm-hmm. work. Hard work. That's it. Right. I feel you. What? Th- not know what nigga what dress you putting on the mall, nigga? What? Sitting on Instagram, paint your nails and uh, come on, bro. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, pl- for real? yeah. <laughs> so playing shit, I'm all right with men getting a manicure and pedicure, mm-hmm. depending on your occupation. I feel you. You see, if you suited and booted, you understand. You on your player shit. Yeah. Right. Treat yourself, clean up. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with that. 
You know what I mean? But paint your nails different colors and shit. <laughs> and going like this. Oh, like. I ain't with it. All in the camera with your broken wrist. Nah. Something's nah, wrong. Nah. You know, something's wrong. You should have yeah. been here the other day, man. When I had... Uh, shout out to Thickeroni. <laughs> and shout out to Octavia, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I had a self-help coach, yeah. love coach, and then my sister is a, a entertainer. She's a, in, you know... Yeah, a dancer. Yeah. Exotic dancer or whatever, right? We ain't mad at it. You know, I'm, this is Atlanta, bro. Yeah. No, I, I, listen, man. If you, if you, would, like, you know, like, say it. Yeah, bro. If, dancer. if you a dancer, pull up on me in the show. You did. But they pulled my coat to some shit, right? Uh-huh. And they said they be eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck? They with the shit. They eating the shittles. <laughs> That shit funny though. Oh, you just killed me with that. Oh God! <laughs> with the shittles. With the shittles. I wonder what kind of rainbow they chased to get that one. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> a shitty one. So I said, I said you ain't about Ryan to toss my too. salad, and we in Lennox Mall, and I look at a chick, and you like you bitch ass nigga. That's why you like getting your booty ate. You ain't about to expose me no fucking way. <laughs> Fuck you, mean. Fuck out of here. Not this nigga here. And they'll do it. They'll do it. They'll what? Do it. I know, right? They'll do it. Nigga, Wait. you talking tough, nigga? You like getting your booty ate. Fuck mm-hmm. out of here. You ain't about to put me on blast or go on live. Uh uh-uh, uh, he ain't what he he ain't no gangster, y'all. I had his I had his ankles at his ears. Right. <laughs> Handcuffed. Yeah, they gonna use that quick. Real they gonna sorry. use it quick. They ain't gonna hold back. They gonna like, be like, damn, you can't keep the house at house. I just talked about you. I talked about a new purse you bought. You talking about shit we do at home. Yeah, I'd rather bro. be a trick than get my ass ate. Fuck that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I bought it. I spent money before. God damn it. I didn't put card down payments and pay card notes before. Yeah. Damn. But you know, I I think I think our women are really starting starting. Just now to be held accountable for their actions. I'm seeing a movement here, especially like if you go online, you look up Kevin Samuels. There's a couple of different, you know, there's a red pill movement. I think it was mediocre tutorials and mm, da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Man, them dudes are serious. You know what I mean? And and you look at it like all through history, we we've been getting blamed for everything. Black mm-hmm. men, why you leave the house? You're single parents because of you, you, you. You know all this other stuff, mm-hmm. and nobody's. Looking at the woman saying, "Hey, yo, why you sleep with that many people?" Uh, no, you know no, what I mean. Had, <laughs> you had a choice to keep the man, but you chose not to keep. Period. Him. And you know, it, I I bring this up a lot, but we don't have the decision to have kids. That's not our decision. Right. I mean, we do participate in the action. I'm not gonna say like we have nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So we do need to watch how we move, but. When it when it comes down to that decision, it's the woman. Period. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mama's and baby, Papa's maybe. Period. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then you go back and you try to blame us for everything when you decided. No, like, no, no. The ones <laughs> I like is the ones that blame the men that got nothing to do with her being pregnant. That right. man want to date you, but you don't like him. But right. then he get mad and he say, "You just a baby. You gonna be like all oh, y'all niggas? No, <laughs> it was one. That one guy you was with did it, and you probably don't even talk shit nothing right. about him. Right. Probably don't never talk. It bad go. About him. I'm gonna call it spade a spade, right? I'm, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Yeah. I love it. You did, but <laughs> no, no. See, I, I admit, I live my truth, Jay. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm not no sucker, nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't cheated on people. I didn't got cheated on. Right. You see what I'm saying? We I don't all be, have. Right. I so I, I call it how I see it. Yeah. You did. It go both ways. Absolutely. It, it do. It do. You see what I'm saying? Women cheat. And shout out to um, Slim Thug. He said this. He said women cheat more than men. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and, and shout out to my brother Silk, right? My brother, my brother K, this is how he move in the street, right? He going to get you before you get him. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to Silk. K, what up? On God. Whatever works, works. Right. So, so he going to rob you before you rob him because he said it's a give and take world. It's a doggy dog world, mm-hmm. right? He he go off a street in jail mentality, right? You understand? So he running up in your cell. T- he taking your toilet tissue before you get him. I feel you. I feel you. You see, I didn't seen it like on, on some real grimy gutter Brooklyn shit, right? Yeah. 
And I'm not going to say him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to name drop or whatever. <laughs> but niggas, niggas will take your wallet and help you look for your shit. Real talk. Yeah, that's true. Shit, I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> Worse, <laughs> yeah, where was it? Where you had it last? <laughs> Nigga, call your wallet. Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Call, you, call my wallet? All right. Uh, where's my wallet on the iPhone? Nigga, what? Shit, I've done it, my dog. I get it. You know what I mean? Damn, bro. Shoot. You uh, uh, you know, you, you I mean you did that. You was you was young and you know. Yeah, um, I mean this was about ten years ago. I I could just name the exact incident. You know what I mean? I don't want to say too much because she might be listening. But yeah, nah, we was at a party or whatever. I was like, uh, uh, you know what That's I mean? Not taking a wallet. <laughs> I'm talking about somebody who know the person, like your oh, homie. No, I knew her. Like she was my homie. You know what I mean? But I knew her. She yeah. did something dirty to you. You was getting back. You was doing some get back. I was just being grimy, bro. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I was about to say, you know, I have done it, but I did it on some get back shit. I was just being grimy, So, doc. for me, it was like me being a nice guy, and I was like, you know what? This motherfucker, it was a nigga, because I remember I was like, this motherfucker did me dirty. Yeah. And he tried to play me in front of some people, too. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get him back one day. Mm-hmm. And when he brought up the wallet situation, I have I sat there and watched his wallet. It was stacked. <laughs> He had at least about eight hundred, maybe twelve hundred dollars in that shit. Yeah. And I said, "Hmm, I know what I'm gonna do." Yeah. I took the whole wallet and took most of the money out. And kept two hundred. I threw his wallet somewhere else where I knew where some other people was at. Yeah. And he was like, "Man, I can't find my shit, man. Somebody got me." I said, "Bruh, I told your dumb ass to get." <laughs> and he kept. And the funny thing about it, I was telling him. To, I said, "Keep your." I said, "Man, you can, he left like we was out and about. It was it was like." I want to say we was at Olympic, uh, downtown Olympic Park. And they yeah. had, like, food trucks and shit out. It was something going on that day. Down about Centennial. C- yeah, Centennial. Mm. Yeah, I said Olympic Park. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that location. Yeah. Nigga, you going to self-incriminate yourself, nigga? <laughs> nigga, that's where it was. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm telling you. Back. I'm just saying, nigga. You better put right. yourself in another location. <laughs> get yourself an alibi, nigga. Hey, I'm, shit, I'm, I'm, nigga. Hey, I'm just telling the story how it went. This is Don't a, tell it the way it happened. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm not going to do no dirt with you. Damn, Especially you, you know if statute of right, right. limitations ain't right. passed by yet. Right. right. <laughs> shit, I ain't doing no work with you. It, 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 it you stayed a photographer, nigga. <laughs> Your honor, he snaps pictures. <laughs> I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth and help me God. He snaps pictures. That's yeah, all it, I know. It, That's all I know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the statute of limitations has passed, but the... Um... And you don't know? Shit. My stupid ass, Jay, look, I, I ain't know... You right though. You you got me. I ain't listen. I'm trying to save I, you. I, I, I had to stop real fast. You, you was interested in me figuring that, but I, I want to yeah. tell the story how why, why I did it. Right. Okay. Finish. No, but I'm saying I tried to I, save the, him. The, the ironic thing was he kept leaving his shit everywhere. He kept like he put his wallet down in the truck. We were walking off. The dude said, "Hey man, get your shit." And I and then uh, it's right before we met up with some people. And then he left his his wallet like I don't know why he took it out. He was talking to we was talking to some white couple. Mm-hmm. He took it out and left it. And the lady said, "Hey, yo, shit!" It was just ironic. He kept losing the shit that day. Yeah. So I said, "Hmm." It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I left him a little bit, but it was the same. He had, yeah. Boy, bro, I, I with me, I, it was a, it was a, yeah, it was a phone. Forget it. You know what I mean? Because I don't pass my statute of limitations. But yeah, uh, yeah That's what I say a, I don't mind. It was a phone, story. my guy. I remember I couldn't figure out how to cut it off because, you know, the battery, you couldn't take the battery out. I remember having to cut the volume down, put it in my back pocket, and they sitting around calling it. It vibrated one time. I'm running in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you, crazy. You got, you got a background so now. It's showing the light. <laughs> <laughs> so they it's say, crazy. hey, what's your pants lighting up for, bro? <laughs> that was in a previous life, though. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to clear up or we're going to clean up the show right now. Period. All these are allegations. <laughs> right. So, these are stories. It's yeah, fictional. It's, a, yeah. it's all speculation. Speculation, <laughs> right? This is what. Uh, are you willing to swear under penalty of perjury? Because damn sure I'm not. I wasn't there. Period. Period. I plead the fifth. <laughs> Please, One, two, three, and fifth. Right. Mm-hmm. Please tell the young brothers how important it is, because we 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 older now, yeah. and we learned a lot, right? We learned from our experiences, right? So we don't want them to go down the path that we went through, right? You know, younger. Mm-hmm. Okay, so please instill in them right now how important it is 
to stay out of trouble. Getting a record can hinder <laughs> your 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 whole life. You know, bro. Talk to me, bro. You know, I used to be on the block. I sold everything except crack and heroin, basically. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I used to rob folks, everything. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I ain't finna get into that because this statute of limitations is crazy for that one. Right. You know what I mean? So it seemed like every red cent that I got off of doing wrong, it lasted about as long as it took for me to get it. You okay. know what I mean? So you you out here doing stuff, risking your life for ill-gotten gains, and then the ill-gotten gains are going nowhere. Right. You know what I mean? By the grace of God, I wasn't caught. Mm -hmm. But I'm one that kind of believes in energy and karma, bro. Right. You know, the next 10 years of my life after doing a lot of these were horrible. You right. know what I mean? Right, Just right. nothing going my way. Right. You feel me? And then once I did, finally did end up in there, mm -hmm. in that guy, you know, it's a real hopeless situation. And if you don't have family or whatever, it can really, they, they got you. Right. They got a thumb on you. Right. You know what I mean? But, like I say, by the grace of God, nothing stuck. I right. still don't have a felony on my record or whatever. But just being locked up that many times, now that I'm trying to do things the right way, I'm right. in insurance, sales, I'm a broker, yada, 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 it's double hard. Mm -hmm. Even becoming a bartender, bro, I had to, I got denied my liquor license, you know what I mean? I had to appeal that. That took two wow. because I had a record basically okay. you know what i mean because i've been locked up so many times and yada 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 mm -hmm. they didn't even want to give me my liquor license to go get a job wow. you know what i mean and for for a young dude i graduated high school got my associates but i really don't have any background of working you know mm -hmm. what i mean so entry level is here we come you right. know what i mean so outside of bartending or something like that what am i gonna do go get me a little 12 hour, $12 hour job or something like right, that. Right, right. You know what I mean? But bartending, I make good guap. You right. know what I mean? So if I would have got caught up or even pled guilty mm -hmm. to a lot of the stuff that I had before, I wouldn't be in this situation now where right. I could where I could take care of my kids and yada, yada, yada. And that's just on that end. Mm -hmm. I could have died right. literally right. over and over and over again. That's true. Right. There was, there was one day. Well, I was supposed to go out here and licks. We ran with a whole clique, you know what I mean? We supposed to go out here and licks. We would take, you know, hot boxes and ride in them and do our dirt, whatever. Yeah. Just so happened, my baby mama saved my life that night. I say this to that day because she begged me not to go out, you yeah. know what I mean? Why that same night, the car that I'm supposed to be riding in, which was stolen, was on a high-speed chase all the way up to Tennessee. They wrecked. Dude died. Wow. Right. So that from then on, I'm like, oh, yep, can't do that no more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like I say, it just felt like I just couldn't get ground under me, mm -hmm. just trying to do things the right way. Yeah, yeah. Because I had that bad energy on me. I had to get off of me for a minute. You know right, what I mean? Right. You know, and, and now that I'm living and moving upright, I can't do nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Right. Like, shoot, the pandemic hit. Me and my fiance were both bartenders. We found out she was pregnant the day that they locked everything down. Dang. You know what I mean? So we both lost our jobs, found out she pregnant. She got a son I'm taking care of. I got my son up there. He's in Kentucky or whatever, right? We both lost our jobs. Don't have no income. Shoot, now it's almost a year later. You mm -hmm. know, she's just going back to work. But we're not behind on no bills or nothing. Right. You know what I mean? It's only the grace of God. It's only because I've been living upright. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Every time I pray, he comes in with more than what I asked for. Right. You know what I mean? As long as it's not selfish, I'm in there. We right. good. You know what I mean? Living upright, man, it's a it's a good feeling. It is. This is, I mean? this is mind-boggling to me, right? Mm-hmm. And an OG told me this. So, I remember... This had to be like 06, 08. Yeah. And I'm getting my high school diploma. And the OG like, yo, you going to college? And I'm like, nah. Right. So he said, yo, go get your CDL. Mm -hmm. It's a poor man's degree. Mm -hmm. So trucking really saved my life. Yeah. You see? Because I ain't have to be in the hood no more. Right. You know, I got to travel and see America for free. And you can make 100 racks a year easy. Right. So... For for the young brothers out there and the young sisters out there, right? Don't do dirt and go 
to jail or go to prison and then come out and get a job. Just get a job now. Period. Because that's where you're going to end up. Your probation officer <laughs> is going to force you <laughs> to get a damn job. Period. Just to pay him. Period. Right. To so pay this money. Right. You, that's his hustle. Look, you know how to hustle. We know you know how to hustle. Yeah. Okay. We know you know how to hustle. Now you hustling backwards. Mm-hmm. Cause now you got to go to work, to pay the state, damn, right, and then you say slavery is over. So nah. who who's your master now? Period. And then on top of that, you know you 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 get locked, you get some on your record or whatever. You go into a job, now they can give you the minimum of what whatever, whatever they want. You know what I mean? Right. They you gotta you take whatever. whatever I could give you. Real talk. Yeah, I mean, and I could talk to you any type of way I want to. Period. Cause, Cause you, you can't just go anywhere. Right. What the fuck you gonna do? Right. Exactly. And then you can't start your own business. They ain't finna give you no business license like that. You know, it's 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 crazy. Right. You know. Yeah, that shit's some. Hey, you know what? I I feel that's some dirty shit. But at the same time, I understand why they do it. But they do it in a way where it make you feel like you less than. Right. So why would why would you want to feel less than? You don't want to feel less than anybody. It's My, if if anybody's violent, hey, you yeah. deserve it. You know what I mean? But they doing it to a whole bunch of folks that are just out here trying to get high. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. Like, that don't make no sense to me. That's true. That, that's the part that don't make no sense to me. That's you know true. What I mean? Drug possession is a harmless offense. It's harmless. You know, you didn't, you're not harming anybody. It's just Period. like prostitution. Who are you harming? Period. You're helping people if you're prostituting. <laughs> Listen, I, they need to legalize prostitution <laughs> yeah. and get these cops more pussy so they'll be less angry mm-hmm. and have less tension. Mm-hmm. It's either the wives or or prostitutes need to marry more police. Hey, what? look, but some gotta give. It's too much frustration and testosterone build up. There was a, there was a state that passed a uh, prostitution legally. Uh, it's Seattle, Nevada, I believe. Nevada, it is. Nevada. No, 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 it's like Seattle or about Oregon. A new state. Oh, some no, new. It's, it's like Seattle or Oregon. No, it's Seattle, or Oregon. Uh, say uh, cocaine is. And, and other that, drugs was are that was Oregon. That was Oregon. That was no Oregon. No drugs are illegal anymore. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Oregon. It was, I'm talking about the prostitution. I want to say it was like it was a state you don't care about, like West Virginia or something like it that. It probably was something. It was something like stupid that. like mm-hmm. Idaho. You'd be like, "What? Prostitution free? You know what I mean, uh, illegal? Legal? We're going to Idaho? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was in I was in truck driving school, right? And I met this guy from West Virginia. It's a joke though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the people in West Virginia. It's just a joke. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. <laughs> so he said, "You know what we say in West Virginia, right?" What he said. He says, incest is the best. Put your sister to the test. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's stupid, bro. <laughs> Yo, when I met, that was the funniest thing I heard all year. <laughs> bro, I was on the floor. I done met so many good country people that are, like, dead ass funny. When as he said, I was in tears, bro. Mm-hmm. I said, I know he just didn't say that. I almost felt bad for laughing at it. <laughs> I did, too. I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> hey, yo. See, I'm not ashamed of saying this. I got a cousin so goddamn bad, I'll marry her. <laughs> Boy. I heard people say that before. <laughs> Boy, and I would not care what nobody <laughs> say. That ass, we cousins through marriage. Bro, I oh got a first God. cousin, blood first cousin. I, I met when I was like 21. I had to like look at the ceiling when I met her. Like, it's that bad. You met her late, that's why. Yeah, I met her late, and then to pull up, and she is bad. Like, like, I, I, it is. <laughs> this is what I be telling people. If you, if you see your cousins are first, second, third, don't matter. When you see them late, it's going to be, like, attraction still because you didn't really. But, because I, I got a second cousin I could say that about. But mm-hmm. I never really looked at her like that until we got older. When yeah. we got older, and then she had her friends bad. So, yeah. it's not a whole group of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I would lose her in a bunch and forget that, wait a minute, one of y'all related to me. I forget which one. I mean, <laughs> it was seven of them all together. I remember they was like, we going to Miami. We stopped by here because they from South Carolina. Yeah. They all, it was like light skin. I think it was one white chick. Yeah. They all rolled down, and they all stopped by our crib. And I was like, wait, who are these bitches? I mean, women in the house? <laughs> I was like, damn, what's the I thought my sister had some friends or something. Yeah. So I'm looking like they were like, "Hey, Julius," and I'm like, "Who? Who know my name?" Like, that's how I knew I would get lost because I didn't recognize her just sitting there. Like, it was it's, just a it's bunch crazy, of, bro. 
I don't know why they be looking so goddamn good at the funeral. <laughs> so like, why are you doing that? Nigga. <laughs> you know it ain't nothing but family here. What are you doing? Shit. Nigga, let's duck off. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We going through something right now, both of us. Crazy, Shit, let's make a baby <laughs> in this trauma. We crazy. Man. In this trauma. And we- <laughs> I'm t- it's, t- it's just marriage. Dang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no blood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Right. Yeah. Ain't no bloodline. The baby going to be all right. Mm-hmm. You took your stimulus shot? Oh, no. What is it? Stimulus shot. Yeah. No, uh, the one, covert shot. I got shot. a check. I took a. Yeah, I got my stimulus, nigga. Nah, covert. Well, I ain't doing took it. Me, me either. Nah, I ain't doing it. And, and That's it. why I couldn't pronounce it right. Yeah, I ain't doing it. My thing, I think it was all overblown. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, all of a sudden, we beat the flu, but everybody dying of COVID. Listen, you could die of the flu 365. I know somebody yeah. that died of the flu. I knew somebody that died of the flu. You know what I mean? I don't was, know nobody that died of COVID, though. I wasn't friends with this person, but I remember when I was in college, they say this chick passed. It's, it's ironic because I had just, like, everybody used to talk about it. I'd never seen her before. Then mm-hmm. when I finally see her. Yeah, then she passed. I'm like, dang. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it wasn't because she was bad. It was just like she was like friends of people in my circle. Right. I'm like, who is this chick? And then I finally see her. Right. And she was sick, and she just died. she went home and got sick and passed. L- lady, I used to work with. You know what I mean? Turn out she was only what two years older than me. I always thought she was way older than me. You know, because I knew her slick from the neighborhood, and then we ended up working together or whatever. But she always used to come to work. It just stopped popping up at work. You know what I mean? She stayed by herself. They went over and checked on her, and she was she was in there gone. You know what I mean? It was just the flu. Just the flu. But check this out, right? It was way before COVID. I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I be on the west side a lot mm-hmm. of Atlanta, right? I be walking through the bluff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the bluff. Shout out to the west side. Shout out to Zone 4, Zone 6, Zone 8. Shout out to the hoods. Right, the crackheads are popping. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, they got plenty motherfucking energy. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> and they're alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said that it was like, you know, if COVID's so serious, why don't we see these homeless folks out here passing out and dying? It was and a all comedian that, you know that said I mean? it first, mm-hmm. right? He and stole it from me because I was on that campaign. Mm-hmm. I was saying that too, cause I was like the first people are going to kill the uh, that, homeless. Next thing you know, when no lie, when Black Lives Matter started, I saw more camps tents up, and it was homeless people. And I'm like, wait the fuck? I said, what's going on here? I said, you know what? You know they don't want to get me started on Black Lives Matter. My boy, <laughs> shout out to S dot. Shout out to Sean Monroe. Right? Uh-huh. He he DM me some and said one of the leaders just got arrested. For buying four houses. Yeah. So I said, this is our leadership? Mm-hmm. They're not our leadership. No. Like I said, you don't want to get me talking about that. You know Black Lives Matter was start, started by three lesbian chicks? I didn't know that. Actually, it was a, a group of people. It was like five or six, but they just talked about the three lesbian chicks more because they the ones that actually somewhat had education and mm-hmm. talked to the people. But mm-hmm. it was more people. And what happened was, since they was more of the face, then that's when they started saying, like, oh, they support gay stuff. Because what they wrote in that website, it was dope the first time. Okay. Then I saw it again. I'm like, wait a minute. Come on now. It looks different. Yeah. Because I saw that same change. Because I saw the change. And, you know, they trying to break down the pay, the, the family home and all that other kind of stuff. Like, what are y'all really out here trying talk to about, do? Talk about we trying to uplift women. I'm like, hold up now. How are you going to say... Listen, everybody has an agenda. Everybody. Shout out to Killer Mike. Killer Mike is very influential, articulate. He has extensive vocabulary. The brother knows his stuff. Killer Mike for president. Right. <laughs> Old man of Atlanta. He got my vote. Fast. Right. Yes. You Landslide. Fast. He said it's about what master you willing to serve. Yeah. When T.I. and Candace Owens had the debate. Mm-hmm. Shout out to T.I. Shout mm-hmm. out to Brother T.I. And I pray that you get through your situation. So, he said... Which is weird, but let's not talk. We're we going to leave that there. <laughs> Brother T.I., you have our prayers and our blessings. Right. Right. He said, it's saddening to see both of them argue about what master they're going to serve. Yeah. And that's all that is. Yeah. Because you raise enough hell... 
right? And you know how to articulate, mm-hmm. right? And you know how to speak the lingo. Yeah. And then the senators or the powers that be, let me just say that, and shout out to them because mm-hmm. they didn't do nothing wrong to me. I'm not a victim of anything. Right, right, right. Okay? So the, the people in control who are turning the wheels, they're going to sit down with you. What do you want? Uh-huh. Take this money and shut up. Please. Right? <laughs> and they know, they're no longer to be found. Yeah. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Period. Right. Mm-hmm. You see? So if y'all got a check for me, you feel me? Because I got some employees and the, the wolves need to eat and I could go clean up the west side. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if y'all got some money, I'll gladly take it, you know, and I'll feed the homeless. I ain't afraid. You afraid. I'm not afraid. Mm-hmm. You see, I'll deal with them. Mm-hmm. You see, I'll clean up a little bit. Right. You see, you you need me to write a business proposal or what y'all <laughs> want, business plan. <laughs> Take it to the Chamber of Commerce. I mean, yeah. you see, shout out to the Chamber of Commerce, too. I done got denied. <laughs> you see? So was, maybe I was at the wrong Chamber of Commerce. You know what I'm saying? I went, to, I went to the one that looks like me and the people look like me, and I got denied. Right. So, and, and shout out to all my sisters of African descent. So I went to the African-American Chamber of Commerce, ladies and gentlemen, and I got denied. <laughs> So I got a Puerto Rican girlfriend and says, shit, least, let me go to the, the, the Latin chamber of commerce and see if I get approved over there. Don't knock me, god damn it. I'm trying to get approved. You're just trying to get it. Right, I'm trying to get it. <laughs> shit. By any means. By any means. What, you, what, what would you do? Right. I, I'd probably use the same tactic. I don't know. They said she's going to get approved. She just walk in and they say, hola, hola. They I'm trying to, to tell you. <laughs> they don't make They don't care. They just hand her whatever. What do you want? And they just hand it to her and walk out and be like, that quick. That's that's interesting that, that you that you touched on that. They got minority women loans. I said, what the hell? I said, stay your ass next to me. I'm going to stay faithful till I get this goddamn loan, goddamn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all didn't pay attention to the, um, how they had. All right, they said. That speech, I love Obama for who he is as a black man, but as a president, I couldn't rock with him. Yeah. And I kept telling people this, and they kept saying, I don't know what you're saying. I said, bruh, ain't nobody helping men at all. <laughs> Brother Julius, check this out. Check this out. And I'm going to be bold and, and brief as possible. Okay? Check this out. Hello. When, when our people of color or African descent... Mm-hmm. Get a mayor position. Yes, sir. Or get a senator position. Yes, sir. Or get a legislative or president position. It's a title. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. We are not the founders of, shout out to the city of Atlanta, beautiful city. Thank you for welcoming me home. Right? We're not the founders of the city. Mm-hmm. So every city has its own corporate bylaws yes. mm-hmm. and structure. Mm-hmm. Right, the fire department. Shout out to them. They operate under their bylaws. The police department operate under the bylaws. The nine one one operator, their office operates under bylaws. Right. The mayor office is is structure. Yes. Okay. So he's not above the legislators. He's not above the law. Nope. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying it. Wait, he's not above the... It doesn't matter who... They put me in there, God damn it. I'm going to tell you the same shit. I'm going to say, listen, brother, it's so much I can do. Yeah. If my budget's only $10 million, I can't help everybody. Right. You see, I had to hit the books and hit the cyclopedias and hit the black sl- and figure this shit out. I get what he's saying about Obama, though. Let, let, yeah, let me ask It you doesn't matter. If they put a thousand black people in office, you're going to be a pawn for who? Look, if if I'm a president of my corporation, right? I have a board of directors. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. We don't see ever see the board of directors of the United States. Mm-hmm. No, we don't. We don't never really see the bankers. No. The people that's really pulling the strings. You nah. never see them. No, nah, you don't know who they are. Okay. So, they got Trump out of office, mm-hmm. right? And shout out to all Republicans, black Republicans. Shout Real. out to, right. <laughs> I'm a Republican too, brother. Right wing. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm a rhino because I need you to come holler at us and say, what's the agenda, coach? Uh-huh. What's the play? I'm not just going to vote for you just because you're Republican, brother. Right. 
You understand? My people need help. Right. Okay? Right. So help me help you. That's all I'm saying. Right, 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 right. right. Okay? We can agree to disagree. Okay, I like that. That climate control bullshit, we don't care about that. My family, my friends, my people are hungry. We need jobs. Period. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay? So... We it's, don't need a handout. We need jobs. We need jobs. We want to work. Mm-hmm. Now, work with us now. Right. Create a plan or something. B- bring Toyota, Mercedes Benz to Atlanta or something. Mm-hmm. Or North Carolina, somewhere. Right. And migrate my people there so my people can work. Right. You understand? And give us equal labor for equal pay. Or pay is, pay is decent now, goddammit. Right. With this inflation bullshit. Right. You see? Because it's about to boom. Right. Mm-hmm. The bubble's about to burst. Yeah. Now, Brother Julius, I love you, and I'm not against your opinion. I didn't finish what I said. <laughs> but I'm just trying to get you to realize it doesn't matter if they put a black woman, a black man, a thousand black men, and a thousand black women. Uh-huh. Right? They have so much power. Over them. Correct. Yeah, I already got that. But what I was saying was, all right, when he, I said, as a president, I couldn't. I didn't accept them because we all should know that he couldn't pull everything. So certain things that he pulled, I know for a fact, as president, he could change that around. Check this out. Now, Go ahead, bro. I got to disagree. Go ahead, bro. For Obama's first two years in office, he had all branches of government. Mm-hmm. Democrats had it all. What did they do? They let it slide. Nothing. They did something for transgender, gay people, and the automotive industry and Mm -hmm. the banks. That's it. After that, you know, uh, BLM and Antifa and all that started during his administration. Yeah. You know what I mean? They sent him more more money across seas for gender assignment treatments and stuff like that. I don't... what? Exactly. You know what I mean? During his presidency, nothing happened. Nothing at all. You know what I mean? Mm. That's my whole thing. Now, was he a excellent role model to show my son? Hey, see, look at that. You could be the president. You feel me? That was that was an awesome proof right there that America is no longer racist. He mm. got the most votes in history at the time. You know what I mean? And then won the popular vote twice in a row. Right. You know what I mean? And then you still get out there with that rhetoric. Rhetoric. All America is rah, 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 rah. That's why I can't rock. You know what I mean? He, 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 didn't, he didn't teach us. He didn't show anybody how to get out and get it his, they self. Right. That, was, yeah. that wasn't his message. But, but, go ahead. So this is how I live my life, right? As a man, as a man, you the president of your goddamn house. Period. You run shit. Mm-hmm. You delegate authority in your goddamn house. Right? Mm-hmm. The man don't pay no damn bills in my house. Right. With all due respect. With all due respect. I don't run her house or his house, the senator's house. I don't tell him how to run shit. I don't tell him when to throw out the trash. I don't tell him when to wash clothes. I don't tell him shit. Okay, you got to govern your goddamn house straight up and your tribe straight up. Right. And the problem is we put in too much faith in the government. Now, I'm not anti-government. All I'm saying is that government got a lot on their hands and a lot on their shoulders as already. Amen to that, brother. Right. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is this is from a Republican perspective. Right. So. I get some of us don't have boots to pull ourselves up by bootstrap. I get that. I grew up poor. Right. I understand that. Okay? But we don't want no damn handout. Mm-hmm. Okay? Give us a lane and let us work. Let us grind. Right. Okay? So you can't lead. I, I'm not putting all my faith in this damn government. If you think a $1,400 stimulus check going to save your life, you ain't never get no money. Period. Exactly. I, that's why I don't like the stimulus shit. But back to hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Um, back to what he was saying about Obama, and I'm gonna try to coincide with 
put that in, mix it in together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would, would you say I understand where you coming from? Because I agree with you, but I also knew he couldn't do too much. No, I feel it. So you know, think about this. I hate to say this, but there was a president who died, and nobody still don't know who did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it was in the and it was, was it the 20th century that had happened, right? Yeah. So nobody knew who did it. So already, I say this man can't do nothing. But there was a little bit he could do. I was a Democrat. I voted for Obama. I, w- twice. I never, I never was anything. <laughs> I never was anything. I just I always wanted people like I learned early. I don't know how smart I am or why I be thinking this. Maybe there's somebody else living inside me. I got two souls, maybe. Right. But the thing is. I remember when they was doing that rock the vote. Remember that st- shit started mm-hmm. around 2004? They didn't vote or die. Mm-hmm. Vo- yeah, vote or die came out in like 08. Yeah, so what happened to that? That, and when the rock the vote came out, no, that was vote or die, whatever, 2004. Mm-hmm. You know, Bush versus uh whoever, the, the Kelly. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, why are these people not asking what they're going to do for us? Right. Because it's and not I, about you. No, and I ain't saying this about. Me. It's never. It's for four hundred years. It hasn't been about us, brother. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You understand? And but I ain't even talking about us only, cause I I noticed something. You know what the Native Americans and the Asians do? They question. Yeah, they do. We I don't. I, don't mm-hmm. I ain't worried about no Hispanics, cause I already know they like. They feel like us. But I I noticed the Native Americans and Asians question. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been doing a lot of a lot of history and reading here in this last year. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It kept that. COVID, COVID did some good and some bad for people. You gave us time know. to read. Shout it did, out to it did Claude, great for me. Shout out to Dr. Claude Anderson. It did great for me. Right. You know, and I'm realizing, like, you know, this is this is a strictly political talk right here. Okay. The nation is divided on two sides. We already know what they are. Left, right, Democrat, Republican, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Boom. Okay, boom. Most of the racist that you see or the racist history mm-hmm. comes from the Democrat side. Now, one thing I've known outside of politics is a person that does a certain action, a thief, is always going to blame somebody for stealing. Right. You know scapegoat. I mean? The scapegoat. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what they're doing to this day. Mm-hmm. Look at them racists over there mm-hmm. while they say black people can't even get ID to go vote. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're trying to make life the, slow. You heard the food thing in Atlanta? That you can't give people the food and water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think that was, they trying to say Republicans. I don't think Republicans started. That's n- it's a lie. Outside people can't come up and give people food and water because yeah. there will be people that actually work the polls that do it. That's all that is. Yeah. So a, a lot of a lot of the stuff you see in the media is a blatant lie. That's why I started uh, supporting Trump last year. That's my nigga. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I I really looked at when they when they said, oh, he's a racist and yada 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 because of the thing he said about the Mexicans or whatever. You go back and you watch the full interview, the full speech, and it's he's really talking about MS-13. He's not talking about Mexicans. He was talking about all uh, gang stuff. He was talking about the gang stuff. And then you really look into it, it's real. You know what I mean? And it's 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 just crazy, bro. It's it's like how did everybody love this man in the eighties? I ain't going to say everybody, but the nigga's been in crazy amounts of rap songs. He dated black chicks. He did this and did that. Al Sharpton gave him rewards. I mean, it was... NWACP. Right. He's got awards from these folks. Shit, so he, how all of a sudden... He boom. donated to the... What? Uh, HBCUs almost... Mm-hmm. So, you Wait, know, this is how it is. Cosby, then him. This, mm-hmm. this, how, this, right. how, this is how it is, right? So, whatever your nationality is... You should feel supreme. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, if you're a black king, you should feel supreme. Right. If you're a black queen, you should feel supreme. Right. If you white, you should feel supreme. Right. If you Latino, you should feel supreme. Ain't you, nothing wrong with it. Right. Yeah. If Jewish people feel supreme. Right. Okay. So, this is how I look at it. I step outside of the box, and I say, if he loves black people more than he loves his people... Then he would be labeled a nigga lover. Right. You see? Mm-hmm. You love them niggas more than you love your own people. Mm-hmm. Okay? So I'm not justifying racism. I'm not justifying systematic oppression. Not whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Right? But if you white, you gonna be labeled racist just for being white. Period. Period. These days, yeah. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> these days. Mm-hmm. 
You man, you should. You don't agree with a black bro. person got to say? You bro. racist. I'm a I'm a Uncle Tom. Right, I've been cool. hurt. I've been hurt. I'm a Uncle Tom. I'm cool. a coon. Yes. I'm a black Nazi. I'm a fascist. I'm this. And but folks don't even know what Uncle fascism Tom. is. Mm. Do you know what Uncle Tom? Do you read the Uncle Tom Cabin? He, he, I read that when I was a kid. He was the superhero basically mm. of the book. You if, know you, I mean? if you pay attention, the person who wrote that book was trying to write off a. Of, um, that's why he wrote. Uh, damn, what's that dude name? It's like five to seven books that almost tie together, and it's like different writers. Mm -hmm. What's that dude name? That look like um, KFC guy. I can't even think of his name. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Tom Sawyer, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you read them books, they, they I, that's how I said they were some geniuses back then. They I were. read most of them books, and they almost coincide. They had parts of each other in there, and it's talking about everything that's going on in the 1800s. I was like, God damn, they're some geniuses. Mm -hmm. So how, how people back then could go around the country a big on horseback saying, "Okay, I got this book from this guy. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write some of that stuff that he said in this book in my book and see if they could get it." Right, right, right. Bro, it's deeper than what you think, bro. Yeah. I read I'm calling Tom Kim. Is this a there's a line in Tom Sawyer? And like I wish I could remember so much of it. Mm -hmm. But I got Tom Sawyer at home. If I could go look it up and find it. Right. So Dr. Like, Claude shit. Anderson was talking about Sambo. Yeah. Mm. yeah you yeah, see? Yeah. And he said Sambo, I think he said Sambo was the the traitor. Right, yeah. not Uncle Tom. Or, mm -hmm. You know, Uncle Tom was the good guy. Right, he was, and it's it's crazy that it shows people don't even know their history when they come out and call you certain things. So check this out too. When you when you go back and you watch Black Wall Street, mm -hmm. right, and I love my brothers that's left wing, they Democrat. You right. know what I'm saying? We can agree to disagree. I don't hate you. Right. I I still love you. Right, but they don't know who founded your party. Right. The KKK founded your party. Absolutely. Okay. So I've been going through a lot of hell, right? Because I went on a Facebook rant. Okay. And I wasn't for, I, I congratulate him. Yeah. yeah you understand? Yeah. I'm not a hater. I have no malice in my heart. Made the best man or woman for the job win. Salute to you. Right. Right. So I wasn't feeling you on that 94 crime bill. Right. Because my brother did 20. My other brother did eight. Right. So it affected me personally. This is why I'm like, what's good with you? And the racial jungle speech and all that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make that right. Right. Okay. So $1,400 ain't reparations, King. When it was supposed to be 2000 Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I, my favorite speech was, they're poor kids just as smart as white kids. <laughs> I'm like, what? Who's the poor kids? <laughs> all races are poor kids. Right. <laughs> That man is sick. And then his son, oh, Lord. How you expect oh, us was... to, you, you call us poor, right? But you won't give us reparations to catch up. Right. So you don't want competition. Right. You don't want no smoke. That's it. Right. That's it. So a, a lot of us, right, we getting it. Mm -hmm. So I try every Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brother Derek. He'll be here tomorrow, God willing. Right? We teach financial literacy. Swag. Right. Mm -hmm. So every Tuesday or a few Tuesdays out of the month, he comes up here and he promotes his brand. And we talk about Forex right. and cryptocurrency. Swag. Right. Uh -huh. So I'm tired of asking you for reparation. <laughs> I, and, and here's another thing, dude. Do you really want it? Because it might come with some stipulations. My thing is, my yeah. thing is about this. A lot of people don't know the first legal slave owner in america was a black dude yeah you know what i mean does his does his descendants pay or receive mm. you feel me mm -hmm. even kamala harris mm -hmm. her family owned slaves her dad bragged about it mm -hmm. does she pay or receive right you know what i mean mm -hmm. my family my great grandmother my great great grandmother was german she actually fled the holocaust we right. never owned slaves or we never were slaves mm -hmm. what happens in that and how can you tell? Right. The records ain't there. Yeah. Right. So what do we do? Who right. pays who? Right. Figure that out, and then we can talk about it. But then, <laughs> oh, go ahead. This is what I had to say, right? If you gave every black person or every person of African descent, say, just hypothetical, I'm just going to make up a figure. Say you just gave everybody $1 million. Right. Right? And we, you said the debt is clear. We apologize. We 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 acknowledge what went on. Right. 
We'll say everyone's name. You understand? Mm-hmm. And rest in peace to everybody that lost their life. Right. Right? There will be a group of us that will say that isn't enough. Yep. It is never enough. Mm-hmm. People are never satisfied. It's in human nature. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yep. People embezzle hundreds of millions of dollars so they know there's greed. Wait, but y'all also know that the people that talk the most shit, talk the most anything, don't do shit. Nothing. Don't, don't do anything. So them senators sit up there for 30, 40 years. And I couldn't. They let me be. I'm filibustering everything. Fuck y'all. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> I ain't even showing up. <laughs> Word right. up. Y'all ain't getting my vote. <laughs> Period. I told you I wanted that Toyota bill passed and y'all ain't <laughs> motherfucking passed the shit. Kiss my black ass. <laughs> you understand? I said I needed 5,000 black people at the plant and y'all didn't. Okay. All right. No, this damn air bill is not passing or this emissions bullshit. Nope. Right. I ain't signing shit. One of my one of my dumbest, smartest homeboys, because he does the dumbest shit, but he'll say like genius. Yeah. You know right, what I mean? right, right, right. I know, I know those people. You Go know ahead. what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead. The but educated he, dummy. Yeah. He yeah. came out he came out and told me straight up, you can't give me a million dollars meal because uh I'll be dead tomorrow. I killed myself. Not even on purpose. You know what I mean? From overdosing. Or something like that. Okay. My point in saying that is you give a million to every black person, we're going to be broke. Some of us going to kill ourselves on accident. Yo. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be a small percentage that yeah. comes up off of that. OG? <laughs> OG is wise behind, like, I'm telling you. He said something that was so profound. We were saying chopping it up before going on air, right? Yeah. And he said, you want to stop the police brutality? He said, put life insurance policies on every black person. Yeah. They end up paying out. <laughs> or, you know, the suicide by cop. Yeah. Shit, my baby mama or my wife leaving me anyway, or I'm going right. to do some shit. Right. Shit off me. I, I took <laughs> right. care of the fam. All right. I'm going to check out of here. <laughs> shit. She cheating on me anyway. I know, right? Man. <laughs> My thing is that that t- that subject on the on the on the violence thing, I am. I, even that is being overblown. I just come out and say it. You know what I mean? It's what one you, bad apple out of the batch. That's it. You, you know what I mean? Like the bad cops. Yeah. Well, well, the, the unarmed black man being oh, shot yeah, yeah. dead by cops. That shit is being overblown. You know what I mean? It you really. See, you heard is. what they said though, right? Well, they trying to pass a bill where. Uh, the state of Minnesota would be the first one to have cop-free zones. Yeah, and it's gonna burn to the ground. Elaborate, <laughs> elaborate. Huh? More? You you mean no police there? No police in the state of Minnesota. And it's, and it's gonna burn. You know they they're riding up there right now. Cause that dude got pepper sprayed. No, it was it was some dude who got shot last oh, night. Oh wait, it was a mixed Oh no dude. no, that's Virginia. Virginia, yeah. the uh, army man got. Pepper, pepper spray. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I seen that. He was a lieutenant. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was crazy. You know, my thing on that is, you know, all of them, a lot of them, you know, some of them aren't justified. Mm-hmm. I get that. Some po- there's there's bad apples in every profession. I understand that. Right. Cool. But if a police officer is telling you to step out of the car, do it. Period. Like I say, I shit. I've been arrested over ten times. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I've never been brutalized by the police. You sound like my cousin. I got right. a cousin. Well, not he's not a first cousin. He's like a second or third cousin. I don't know who this nigga is, but my family, we run deep. Everybody know each other. Right. So, anyway. So, this dude was like, man, I've been arrested 15 times. I did seven years. Yeah. I complied. They said they, I did something. I ain't going to lie. I got this shit in my trunk. Right. So take me in. I'm out again. Period. This man, 47. He I got it. my brother. I, I'm like, my thing is, comply. They lock you up, beat it in court. It's way easier than you think. Right. These folks have a 98% conviction rate because people go in and plead out. Right. They don't take it to trial. They don't fight it. They, they don't fight it. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I got me and, the, me and one of my whole posses off. It was five of us. Mm-hmm. They try to all lock us up for possession of the same seven grams. We go into court. They call us up one on one. On one. Oh, you going to plead guilty or I told everybody, if y'all all plead not guilty, they're going to throw this out. Mm-hmm. They didn't find it on none of us. 
possession is nine tenths of the law. Right. You know what I mean? That we're all in the same room. They can't put this on one person. And the person they were looking for jumped out the window and got away. Right. They can't put this on nobody. Y'all all out uh, plead guilty. We all got our stuff dropped the same day. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, that's that's why I be like thinking to myself like some of these parents are. are I ain't. I hate to say this. I ain't trying to change subject, but it's, it's still the same topic. But some of these parents are failing their kids because they don't tell them like understand what's going on out here. Period. So you could learn the law. Because mm-hmm. my my dad was telling me this, and when I was young, I wasn't thinking about it. Brother Julius. I, I read books and shit. Brother Julius. Go ahead. That's why I hit my head on the books. They say ignorance of the law is no excuse. It isn't. Yes. It is so not. So I said. I said okay. And shout out to all the cities, right? And one thing I give every cities. city the credit for, every city has a library. And Very every true. every city has a library and have a law section. Okay? So when the when the officer says ignorance of the law is no excuse, shut up. He's telling you to shut up because he don't want to write in report. Anything right. you do or say can be used against you. Right. So in a in a sense he's saving you. Mm-hmm. He's telling you to shut up so he don't have to write in a report. Real talk. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's your job as a civilian to go to your local library and read Georgia state constitution. Real talk. Georgia state statutes. Mm-hmm. Okay? One thing I give my brother credit for, right? And this is what kept me out of jail or, or out of prison, right? He said, before you do anything stupid, because I can't be with you 24-7, mm-hmm. okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. My brother no, was I a know, realist. I know, I know. Yeah. He was a realist. He just said, no, no, no. He said, if you're going to do a crime, go to the library or Google the the penalty of what you're doing. Right. Right? If you got this in possession of this, is this amount of time right. with this kind of fine, and this amount of restitution, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. So, because my brother did twenty years, so he's like a jailhouse lawyer, right? You see, so that's one thing I give him credit for. I don't give him credit for committing all them goddamn crimes. <laughs> <laughs> but when he came home, he said, "Hey, man, skirt, skirt." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Leave that fine ass girl alone real quick, right? And go grab that law book, right? Right, and cross reference, right? Mm-hmm. And shout out to all the lawyers in Florida. Because if you if you tracking, right, they said, okay, I see where he going. <laughs> if you got a good enough attorney, they'll answer any question. Right. Mm-hmm. Right? And with all due respect, they members of the bar. And, and shout out to the bar association. Uh-huh. So they do have obligations. They do. Right? And I res- see, I had to educate myself instead of saying F you. Like, yeah, on how it works, right? Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. Not totally, but okay. You you a bar member. You you understand? Yeah. You got obligations to the court. At least on the face level. There you go. I feel you. There you go. Mm-hmm. Not no six years. Right. Past, <laughs> no no. I didn't get there. Right. But I could hold a conversation. Right. And I could see where you coming from. And I I, I put myself in your shoes. Right right right. So to speak. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Understand you you're not trying to lose your bar card and get this bar. Yeah. And you will drop this case and drop my black ass fast because it's happened before. Mm-hmm. You see, it's happened before. Yeah, you understand. You get enough threats from the powers that be, you'll drop my damn case. Yep. So I get that. Mm-hmm. You dig? You had something to say, Julius? Mm, I was just agreeing. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> so when I got a lawyer, I picked a brain. Yeah. So don't play stupid with me. You see? Mm-hmm. Don't, don't play dumb with me. Mm-hmm. You see, I'll fire your fucking ass. Don't fucking play with me. You understand? Yeah. Listen, if I'm in a lose already, you understand? Then I might as well defend myself. Fuck it. I ain't paying you to lose. Right. <laughs> I feel you. Or, or I'm a um, public defender. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to lose, lose anyway. That's one people you don't That's want around crazy you. Story. The public defender I, who don't care. I right. Got a, I got a testimony on that one. I'm gonna let you finish though. But no, no, no. I had a, <laughs> I had a public defender who got me off some shit. Yeah. Right. So I'm not gonna say what it was, right? But third month, fourth month, one day he pulled me to the side and he said, "You said you ain't do this, right? <laughs> uh huh. 
And he said, I looked at the state's docket sheet or whatever, and they don't have no witnesses, right? He said, I'm going to go to the judge and have the, the judge ask for motion to dismiss. Right. I said, you some motherfucking gangster, nigga. Go do it. <laughs> nigga, do your thug dizzle, nigga. You understand? I didn't, I didn't right. use this terminology, brothers and sisters. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and shout out to Osceola County. You understand? Because I had to better educate myself on the system instead of me going in there, F you, F you. That's not, I'm not getting nowhere like that. Right. Right? And shout out to the judge that was on my case. And she said, Mr. Kennebrew? And I said, yes, Your Honor. Good morning. I, I probably was the only person that gave her a good morning. Right. Because when I said good morning to her, she smiled. She paused. Right. <laughs> like she was so appalled. That's crazy. Right? Mm-hmm. I understand this is just strictly business. I'm not tripping. Right. Do your job. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to run the city. Right. Right? Or run the county. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. Kennebrew. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mr. Kennebrew, how fast can you pay restitution? I'll give you six months. I said, nah, I could pay that. Not now, but right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah, Anna, I cash you. You got cash app, Your Honor? Yeah. I cash app you the money. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you got Bitcoin, Your Honor. <laughs> yeah, Anna, I, look, you don't want to see me, and I don't want to see you. Look, we can work this out, and I'll stay out of trouble. Right. What's your routing and account number? Yeah, I'm right. trying to tell you. Deposit them what? You want this by money order? FedEx? <laughs> How do you want this money, Your Honor? You dig? And that Western Union shit. Right. Mr. Kinnebrew, I don't want to see you in my courtroom for six months. What? Shit. Six years? Ever. Next time you see me, you ain't going to recognize me. I'm going to have gray hair. Right. Right. Right? Go ahead, Brother Julius. You have something to say? Why you keep doing that? Because Bro. I don't want to clog up, all, brother. On my, you're, let me you're telling let me story. get you I'm mine. Listening. Let me get I, go you ahead. mine. That okay, okay. All right. As, this is I was 21. Like I said, I'm 37 now. It's a good while ago. So, mm. you know, what I mean, I'm on the block. You know right. what I mean, I graduated from selling weed to selling soft now. You feel oh. me? So, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm out. You know what I mean? I'm out all night now. Yeah. It's a different life. You know what I mean? So one of my homeboys called me. He's like, bro. The strip club's popping. He was on. Sh- he was at Shooter's Alley on Beaufort Highway. He told me, "Come on out." Damn. Right. You know what I mean? That's a long time ago. Yeah. So I, I still had a little little bit of something scale right. and right. some zannies in my pocket that I fucking forgot about. Woo. Had just bought a brand new car, so I got the dealer tag on the back. Right. You know flapping. I mean? Flapping. <laughs> right. 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 I go down the highway. It falls off. Pull over. Pull off on um on Beaufort Highway. That's Doraville. Uh-huh. Doraville gets behind me. Whoop whoop. You know what I mean? Pull me over. Damn. I'm thinking simple ticket. Here's my stuff. Cool. Good. Right. License, registration, you know insurance. What I mean? Then I remember, oh, shit, I got this dang box under the seat. And yeah. the police officer sees it. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm dead to right. Possession. Yeah. I was guilty. All of that. I'm trying to speed up the dang, the story now. Right. All right. So they lock me up, transfer me to DeKalb County. I'm just trying to get my bond or whatever. Three days in, I hit my knees in the back of the cell. I pray to God. I'm like, God, you get me out of this. I will never touch that stuff again. I right. promise you. Right, right. Get me out of this. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Before I open my eyes, the door popped. Mm-hmm. I look at my cell, man. I'm like, bro, that's that's for you. He's like, man, I'm going down the road. That ain't for me. You know what I mean? Go down in the for sure. They paid my bond. Some one of my homeboys that I really don't even talk to like that paid my home my paid my bond. So end up getting out. You know what I mean? Six months go by, my court date come up. My mom calls me, is, she takes me down there. We both think I'm finna go down the road or be on parole or something, you know what I mean? Because it's two felonies. Mm-hmm. They found a Xanax and the coke, everything. You know what I mean? So, go up in court. Public defender, Al Snill. I will never forget his name. Right. I walk in, tell him my name. Mind you, I'm, I'm going into court late as hell. Yeah. So, I walk into court. Call him over and tell him my name. He's like, oh, yeah, you're free to go. They dismissed that. I'm like, what? Go check your paperwork. He's like, no, motion of suppressing. They dismissed your your case. Right. All right. So yeah. I'm like, oh, shoot, that was a bomb-ass damn public defender. Cool. Awesome. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Now, last year I'm getting my license to sell insurance. I yeah. got to go around and get documents from all these times I've been locked up. That goes back to where I was telling you earlier. Mm. it gets a little harder if you get in trouble. You know mm. what I mean? So I go get the disposition from that from that case. I'm reading through it for the first time. 
and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, they 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 shipped the evidence, but the dang officers weren't on the force no more. That's why my dang uh, charges got dismissed. Mm. All of that was from hitting my knees in the back of the cell. It all just got wiped out. Damn. That's my testimony. If you don't think he real, boy, gotcha. better, better smarten up. All praise due to the most high. You feel me? Whatever you call him. Because I said, God, whatever your name is. Right. Real talk. <laughs> real talk. I still remember the pray, The prayer. You know what I mean? Damn, that shit stuck with you. Bro, like, I never. You think I even. I, I look like, you know, because my yeah. homeboys done graduated. So they be around me. I look. Oh, man, y'all tripping. Right. Roll up. <laughs> like, you know what That's I mean? good, man. That's good. Yo, yeah. bless, us, bless us with some um a sample of your music. A sample? Yeah, give us give us some off the EP, and then we gonna we gonna get into the title and you bet, know what I'm saying. Bet. Get what you plug. want me to just spit a little verse real fast? That'll work. I got you. I got you. So this was this this verse right here is off the two cups. Remember I told you yeah. my homeboy sent the picture or whatever. But um, what is my verse? My verse starts off. Uh, the the grind is exhaust. Hold on, hold on. What did I say? Uh, time is revolving. The grind is exhausting. I'm Climbing the column, avoiding the bottom, but my life is a slalom. I'm sliding too often, taking chances, steady dodging the coffin. Mama asking son, what's, what is the problem? Wish I could tell a gun busting and robbing. My excuse is that I'm bored with my hobby. Worked so hard that my outfit is soggy. Got laid off, I guess my action was sloppy. <laughs> a blessing probably. What's in the heart of me? Hard times floating through these damn arteries. That's my cardiology. I try to think logically. But my morals always bother me, constantly thinking about my last robbery. Oh. Making efforts to live properly, knowing that I'm God's property. Nobody is stopping me. Shaq can't even, Shaq ain't even blocking me. These lyrics make you drop to your knees. Copping a plea, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I see how you say you like the word play a lot. Right. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Well, That's dope. Yeah, appreciate it. That's off of an album you and your boy doing together. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we did a whole Fat and Thirty album. He his his thing was he had thirty thousand bitches. This was when we was in Charlotte, man. You mm. know they they was they was flocking. I can't even lie. Right. I saw my home uh, my homeboy had two females in the kitchen cooking Thanksgiving dinner for his mom. I was like, I never saw the end of the day of my life. Hands down, you got it, bro. You want, <laughs> you want to hit it? I I got a, a test in that. Yeah. So. Shout out to my brother Silk, right? Mm-hmm. My brother Silk is the biggest pimp of the decade, of the century, right? He had his wife and his girlfriend at my mama's funeral at the same damn time. It mm. <laughs> ain't no fight breakout. They were sitting next to each other? No, he put the wife and the kids in the front and the girlfriend in the back and right. said, play your position. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> But yeah, me and boy, my, I didn't seen it all. But yeah, me and my homeboy, we've been rocking since. I think yeah, we met when we were sixteen. And the crazy part is, I was on some on some jealousy shit in high school. I remember seeing him walking down the walking down like the cafeteria with two girls I had a crush on. A little short dude, and I'm looking like I had my growth spurt. Why can't I do that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then meeting him like it was two years later. We the same height all of a sudden, and looked at him. I'm like, you that same nigga that was in school with. Like, yeah, we just happened to, like, drop out at the same time, all this other stuff, <laughs> end up working together, and then we both made music. It was like, oh, you make beats? Nigga, got rap. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Five blunts later, that's my nigga. Right. Like, yeah. We've been rocking ever since. You dope. know what I mean? That's dope. Y'all yeah. like A Boy and MJG when, I, when I'm on your SoundCloud? Real talk. Yeah. Real talk. We get, we get compared to them a lot. Because... I've been trying to get you up here for, like, the past month. Yeah, bro. So, I was sick, bro. Like, I sat there, had the questions right. <laughs> I sat there and listened to the music. Yeah. I'm sitting there like, yo, tell me about this song. And then, you know what I'm saying, all praises to the most high. Wifey made it out the hospital safe. Bro. Right. That was a week right there, bro. Right, right, so, right. Yeah. But you finally made it up here, and I'm grateful for that. It's good, man. And um, anytime... We might have you. We need to have you come back up here, man. Absolutely, anytime. Okay. okay. Like I say, I usually got Mondays. We good. So. M- Mondays is free. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. How can the people contact you? Or you know, introduce yourself. 
uh, on, on on Facebook, my name is Jamil Clark. I don't care if you get my government. That's what it is. On Instagram, it's Fatboy, F-H-A-T-B-O-Y. You can look on SoundCloud at Fat and 30. The You know, Fat is spelled F-H-A-T and 30, the numbers. You know, we're we're all over social media, everything, man. You know, holla at your boy. We'll just get this right. <laughs> How much is a feature if somebody wanted to book you? To be honest with you, at this point, yeah, I'm showing love. Let's do it. You know what I mean? We can talk royalties or something like that. Yeah. But we features, could. we good. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I just want to, like, I, like I'm doing beats. Mm. I give it here. Take it. Mm. You know what I mean? If something comes from it, then we probably need to talk about that ahead of time. You know what I mean? Right, right. Figure it out. But, but you got to always take care of the contract work. Up front, uh, right, up front, right, up front. right, but but to give me some bread off top, nah, I ain't looking for that. That's why I'm out here trying to work. And you want and, percentage? Yeah, that's it. I want a percentage. You know what I mean? Okay, and, and that song then, might pop. Then I want the exposure from that too. You know what I mean? Like like you asked me, would I do a song with Drake? Hell yeah, for the exposure. Right. You know what I mean? But I already know my song is going to end up being Drake's song. So <laughs> <laughs> would you take a 360 deal? Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. You know, what I mean that 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 for show sure money is way better than some I don't know money. Right, you know what right, I mean? right, right. And then, like I was saying, you know, it it just matters the label mm-hmm. and everything. It just matters the specifics. You know, right? How that but, contract read out? Yeah, how that contract. And then and then if it's nobody at the label I want to work with, why would I take that deal? Right. You know what I mean? I'm right. gonna be a solo artist again. And just have a label pushing me. Gotcha. But that for show, show money and all that, man, let's do it. You right. Know what I mean? Top five artists real quick. Top five. All time. Andre three Andre Three Stacks. Kendrick, of course. Uh what's the D Storm? Mm-hmm. New one. Mm-hmm. Man, love me some D Storm. That man's on it. J. Cole, of course. Right. Uh Jay Z. All respect to Jay Z. Uh-huh. What he did for the game was something crazy. You right. know what I mean? Uh I don't know if I hit five. What is that? I That's think I'm at five. That's four. five. That's uh, five. You want me to keep going? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to hear, hear the rest of the list. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, on the on the R and B tip, I always had love for Usher or something like that. You know okay. what I mean? Usher has always been a dude to me. You know what I mean? On on back on the rapping tip, uh, tip of course from the crib. You know right. what I mean? Uh, Killer Mike, like I said, Killer Mike for president. Right. It, Shout out to A Town. Shout it, out Hot man. Atlanta. To everybody from the A, pretty much A Ball and MJG, like you said earlier, right. was was my listening to. Mm-hmm. Uh, shoot, Project Peta, man, oh, yeah. Project man, Peta. Gold Teeth, French Braid Rucker. I think I think <laughs> I would have to, to be honest with you, I have to lump all the three six together. Right, you know what I mean. It's Shout just, out to old three six miles. It's just a vibe. Yeah. And, and I just got hip to Sauce Walker. I know he's been out for a long time. Okay, I understand. But Sauce is on it. He yeah. got, man, I, I think if he was to switch up his image, all due respect, Sauce. Yeah. You know what I mean? If he switch up his image a little bit, that man would go worldwide. But do you know the thing, too? We talk about this. It's good that we had these conversations, mm-hmm. right? So I'm, I know I'm not politically correct, you see, and I, I'm bluntly honest. And I have no filter. So that I think might, that's what we missing though. You know that uh, I don't need to be suppressed. Mm-mm. You see, you yeah. need to get the raw. Yeah. Okay. So that might hinder certain sponsors from right. dealing with me, and I understand that. Right, right, right. But I I sleep comfortably, and I'm comfortable in my own skin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I need mentorship? Of course. Yeah. Do I need some critiquing? Of course. Right. My ego isn't that big to the point where a OG, yo, chill out. Right, right, right. Chill out. Yeah. I would take the constructive criticism. Right, right, right. One thing is constructive criticism. One thing is just blatant insult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see? No, absolutely. I can discern the difference. And you can you can kind of see the intent. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. What's up, my nigga? Oh, you fucking nigger. <laughs> it's, a di- it's a difference. <laughs> Big it's, one. Right. You, it's endearment love, my brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. then curse you. Yeah, yeah. Curse your existence. Yeah. 
You know? Yeah. I wish you wasn't born. <laughs> That's just hate. You can even say some endearing words in a way that it doesn't really come over like it's love. You know what I mm-hmm, mean? Mm-hmm. So I feel you. But since I've been in Atlanta, I've been I've been getting a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. longer I, the longer I'm here, the more love I'm I'm getting. Mm-hmm. It, you know, and I'm reciprocal. I give the love back. That's how we are down here. You yeah. see, but I've been getting a lot of. A lot of shade, <laughs> a lot of bitch assness, a lot of sucker nigga shit. Fuck assness. Fuck assness. <laughs> you understand? You know who you are. You ain't getting two views off of me name dropping your ass. So you know who your sucker ass is, sucker MC, ass nigga. I feel it, bro. Yo. You got them everywhere, though. Man. No. Stay your fuck ass away from me. You got them everywhere. Brother Julius, how do people could contact you? Man, you can contact me through uh, Instagram. I was about to say Facebook. And name Radiance. I-N-A-N-E underscore Radiance. You know, you know, you already know who I am. Me and my big ass mouth. <laughs> I'm Kennebrew Paul on Instagram. Paul Kennebrew on Facebook. Like, subscribe, comment. Share, share, share. You know, we need to go viral this year. This the year, man. This is the year, man. Period. You're ready. I tell people uh, last year was the year of clear vision. This year is the, the year of clear action. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. You know what I mean? We got to put it into fruition. Real talk. Preach. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of people show who they really are last year. Right. Oh, that's how I was telling people. I said, you learned your friends in 2020. You learned who you was in 2020. You learned what you should do next year Yep. because of 2020. To be honest with you, I, me personally, I feel like running for political office somewhere. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Shit. I talked to you off there. I, I, I got a I, I sort of kind of got an idea. Right. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody of my stature in Congress. Right. So dope and all that. That's what we need, honestly. I, I I feel like we need somebody that's been through the ringer, changed their life. But you know, you, know you can be a felon and be a mayor. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not that's a felon. The, that's the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. The mm-hmm. law is funny. Mm-hmm. It's weird. No, so before I close out the show, because we over we over time, so you can go to jail and be a felon and come out a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know you could go for me. Shout out to Rich Rabazia, right? Mm-hmm. That's he's the reason I'm Republican. He put me on the Herman Cain. Really? Yeah. It, it, right. Th- my brother, he he's white and yeah, he's R. P. to Herman Cain. R. P. to Herman Man. Cain. That one hit. Right. That one hit. So, again, let me pay my condolences. R. P. Herman Cain. So, I was his driver. Mm-hmm. Like a personal driver, not an Uber driver. I was his personal driver, and we listened to Herman Cain. He was he's white and. Filipino, you see, he's he's mixed, mm-hmm. but I'm I'm a Democrat, and he said, approach it with an open mind. Yep. And he said, Democrats about control, and they be in their emotions, and he said the Republican Party only deal with facts. Yep. No feelings, no emotions. He says, Paul, always give me the concrete evidence. Yep. Mm-hmm. I know you see me sitting here spitting numbers, right? <laughs> right. He said, Paul, always come. He said, go get the encyclopedia, pull the Constitution out, then come back to me and holler at me. Mm-hmm. Don't sit there and just pull the race card just because you can pull it. Real talk. You understand? Real talk. Read the congressional acts. Read the statutes. Read the law. Then come holler at me, and then we'll go to war. Right. But I remember him. We was having this conversation one day. We was eating lunch or something. And he said, Paul, you want to hear something crazy? He said, if you ran for mayor and I was the candidate against you, he said, you would win before I would win. And I said, why? He said, because you black. Mm-hmm. He said, black people would just support you because you black. Because you black. He said, that you'll get the minority vote, hands down, landslide, I don't got a chance. Yeah. And I said, damn, we got more power than we think. Absolutely. You see? Uh. What is what is the number? I think it was. Uh, they said if a president got more than eight percent of the black vote, he's winning the presidency. Period. 
that shows you how much we how much power we got. And we only thirteen percent of the dang population. Mm-hmm. That's that shows you. Right. And we were thirteen for a long time. Still. It's crazy. Migos growing, everybody else growing but us. Right. But you see, that's a whole nother subject. I had to come yeah, down yeah, here. Yeah, you gotta to come talk, back. Bro. You gotta yeah. come back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We can't talk about it right now. Yeah, man. But you now been tuning into the Paul Kennebrew show. Until next time, y'all be safe out there. Out of here. You out of here.